welcome back to our channel. My name is Dana. In case you are new, Dana Creates is our channel, right Ashley? Yeah. But today we are going to do a travel video. How long has it been since we've been able to do a travel video? One year. One year. So we actually did this video a year ago. I'm gonna leave a link to all of our past travel prep videos, including all of our other actual travel videos. We'll link that above. But it's been a year since we were supposed to go to Hawaii and two years since we've actually gone. Right, Ash? Yeah. It's been two years of accumulating stuff <laughs> that make it easier to travel. It's not everything that we're obviously going to pack. We will do a packing video and you know what's in our backpacks, right? Yeah. All that kind of stuff. What's our snack situation gonna be like? Those will all come soon. We are kind of prepping ourselves to go to Hawaii. I'm just gonna preface this. We're three weeks away from going on our vacation by the time I'm filming this. So you're gonna see it right before we're gonna get to go if we get to go. I'm still really nervous. It is a pandemic. We are during dealing with COVID and we do have to get COVID testing. That being said, fingers crossed that if you're seeing this video, we tested negative for COVID and we actually get to go to Hawaii. So let's just jump right in. I've got multiple categories of stuff that we wanna show you. So Ashley, what category should we start with? All right, that's the funnest. Yeah. So let's show you some of the things that we have gotten new this time to make swimming a little bit better. So the first thing we added was two new sets of goggles. And I actually like these ones because it has an elastic around the head instead of the plastic like this. Because every single time the plastic on these breaks, so I really like that this one is held up with an elastic and it has a really easy cinch on it, which is always a struggle when you've got wet hair and you just wanna get out in the pool or in the ocean. My kids like to have their nose covered, so they use the snorkel goggles. You don't actually use the actual snorkel. They like to have the one that goes over their nose when they swim. So we got two of those. Then the pool that we're going to, we're gonna stay at the Hanua Kai in Maui and they have a, a lazy river and they actually allow floating tubes in their lazy river. So I got two of these Hawaiian print floaties that are super cute. Then I added a snorkel mask to our mix. We now have a teenager who has outgrown the children's size. This is the kid's size. We have had to get another adult size snorkel mask and add it to our supply because we love to snorkel. So usually we have one adult and at least one kid going out to snorkel at a time, but now we can have two adults and a kid be able to go out and snorkel if we want to, and then the kids can obviously use their kid's mask and snorkel. So we can get at least four, maybe even five of us out if one of the kids doesn't have a complete face mask. They can just use this mask and go out and snorkel. Usually we have one or two kids that just wanted to be on the boogie boards or play in the sand on the beach, no. but we are always like right by each other. But these face masks are super amazing because you don't have to put anything in your mouth. You just put the mask on and it, you just go right into the water. So I will link these ones down below because I think this is like my number one must have if you're going to at Hawaii or anywhere for the ocean where you're actually going to get to snorkel because this is a game changer when it comes to snorkeling. Hands down, game changer. So next up are our towels. Now these all pack into these little bags and they have little cinch cords that you can pull and keep them all nice and tight. We have one color per person, yeah. right Ashley? So these are kind of like the squeegee towels. They wick away water, but they also absorb water. It's like a double benefit. So you can get dry really, really quick, but then when you lay these towels out to dry, I mean, they dry super, super fast especially in the hot, hot Hawaiian sun. Yeah. We have not used these in Hawaii yet, but we used them all summer this year and they worked great on the river, on the beach and at the lake, but then they pack up super easy as well. And we have an extra little feature that we're gonna add with these bags yeah. this year that we didn't have as a potential last time we traveled. Okay, so the next thing I got for this time, our girls are older and they're becoming more independent in their stuff when it comes to going swimming and going to the beach, going to the pool, all that kind of thing. They're also getting their own stuff to take with them, their own sunglasses, a change of clothes with underwear, you know, their flip flops or like all the stuff that they want to have individually. I am sick of carrying in my little beach bag. And so this year, not only do they have their own individual towel that they have color coordinated with each individual person, but now I I have little cinch bags that I'm going to assign per color. So right, we've got green that for the green bag. And we've got orange, we've got one bag for every color. The red bag is actually going to be 
Purple. Purple, because <laughs> they didn't have a red bag. And All that right. will probably be me, because I'll be able to remember that. But we've got a bag per color. So then the idea is everyone has their own bag. They're gonna keep their own towel, their own sunglasses, their own chapsticks and things that they want to take to the beach they're gonna have their own responsibility for that and then i will pack like the food and the snacks and all that kind of stuff in our regular beach bag along with our cooler bag and then everyone is in charge of grabbing their cinch bag and heading out to the pool the beach or the car or whatever we end up doing we'll let you know while we're there if it's working well okay so next up we're going to kind of talk about some of the more travel supplies and the and items like new airplane pillows this is jason's it packs up into this little bag i'm just leaving it out so that it doesn't get too scrunched up before we travel he wanted his own pillow to go on the plane the girls all have either this type of pillow or their own little squishy or something that they're gonna sleep with on the plane. We have a really long flight coming home, so, and, they're, and it's a night flight, so we always wanna make sure we're comfy on the plane. We also have to wear masks on the plane, right? Yeah. Now we have flown before during this pandemic and we know what that's like and we know what the requirements are. So we got these little lanyards. The girls have different kinds and I, I, I don't have one myself so I got this kind. But it clips on, see the little clip right there? And that just helps me be able to take it on and off because we're gonna have to wash these masks every single day while we're there, which they normally wash their mask. But when I just go to Target once every week, I rarely end up using mine, so I can keep mine for a couple days. But when you're having to take these off of lanyards or off the other kind of clips, it gets kind of cumbersome every single day. So I just wanna be able to like take it on and off, but also like, especially for travel and going in and out of stores, I wanna be able to like keep it near me and then be able to put it back on instead of having to like find it in my, in my backpack or in my bag or whatever. So these lanyards were from the dollar spot at Target, so they were only a dollar. So the next stuff, I have a little travel wallet. This is an extra one I have a blue one so I'm not gonna unpackage this one I'll probably gift this one because I wasn't sure if how I was gonna use it so I got two of them I'm on a cash budget when I go to Hawaii and so I carry the cash with us all the time except I don't want to carry it like on a daily basis so I have this little pouch that I got so I can put the cash in it put it into the safe in the hotel room and then only take out what we need for that day or that little trip to the door or whatever so it just has room for you know, your driver's license if you're the one driving the rental car, and then all the cash. Maybe I'll throw in a debit card just in case someone doesn't take the cash. We also got a couple of these, they're not water, Proof, but they're water safe bags. We'll probably put things that we just don't really want to get wet, but it doesn't have like a seal proof zipper on it. But it's super cute to throw into the beach bag, protect something that we don't want to get wet. Then the last thing we got are extra packing cubes. We haven't had to use this set yet. We have now three sets of packing cubes and they just work so good when you're packing your bag. Everyone will get multiple sets of these bags when they are packing up their suitcases and you will see that in a packing video soon. So stay tuned to see how we use these. Okay, so the last travel item that I have is a scale. So this is battery operated and you hook this little latch onto the suitcase and then you hit the power button, it lights up, and then you literally just hold this up in the air and hold the suitcase and it'll tell you how much it weighs. We usually check two or three bags at the airport and so I, I always like to know ahead of time what my bags weigh. It's like $5 on Amazon. It doesn't cost very much but it lets you know before you leave the house what your bags weigh. Last time I was off by not even a pound and I had to move my jelly. Yes, I take jelly with me to Hawaii. It's expensive in Hawaii. I had to move it to my carry-on bag and so then when I got my carry-on bag going through security, I got flagged because it was a gel and it was, that was technically deemed a liquid. So I had to throw it away. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I have children off screen that are causing this one to giggle. Undoing your whole suitcase just to get rid of one pound. That's super annoying. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about are you know bathroom supplies and that kind of, it's not an all-inclusive list of everything that we're taking. It's just some extra tips that I wanted to show you that make travel a little bit easier. The first one is travel toothpaste. We all know we take toothpaste. I think we have three bathrooms in our 
unit that we are staying in and it just helps to have a toothpaste per bathroom. So instead of taking one solid big tube of toothpaste and checking that in a suitcase, I'm taking three of them and that way there's a toothpaste in every single bathroom. We probably will end up using all three of them and that's fine. We won't have to go into each other's bathrooms to be able to get the toothpaste. So what's different, a little bit different this year is making sure we all have sanitizer. These are two cute ones that I got into a little gift bag this Christmas. So I'm just gonna stick those into our travel bag. But we also need to have these in our daily bags. Like I'm gonna put one of these in each of one of the kids' cinch bags because as we go about town, we need to make sure we are using our hand sanitizer as well. You know, life during a pandemic. Doesn't stop even when you're on vacation. So the next thing I got, this is just from the dollar store and it's just face wipes. We will have Clorox wipe for the plane and wiping everything down but we also like to have face wipes. So I will have one in the hotel for me and the, and the girls to use to wash our faces off with. But I also like keep one in our beach bags because when we are going from beach to pool or vice versa, or going from the pool straight to like get something to eat, I don't wanna have to go back to the room and wash our face and kind of get that grime of the sunscreen off or maybe we got some sand on our face. But having a face wipe right in our bag will come in handy and we'll be able to wash off our face really quick if we want to go grab a bite to eat or shave ice. Yeah, we don't right? like it here. And it just is always refreshing when you're hot and maybe we're shopping or something probably not gonna wear a whole lot of makeup. So if we get hot and we wanna refresh our face, especially when you're wearing a mask, having a face wipe will come in handy. And these are pineapple and aloe vera face wipes from the dollar store. And that will smell and feel really, really good. The aloe vera in this will come in handy as well in case we have a little bit of sunburn. Ashley, you wanna show what you have? Um, we got like a lotion. Yeah, so this is my one of my favorite lotions from Bath and Body Works. It's called Waikiki. In fact, I put this one on the other day when I found it in a lot of my travel supplies. I had tucked this away and not used it since I bought it. And I put it on, it's coconut, and it, anyway, I put it on and Jason was like, what is that? smell it reminds me of, of something wonderful and I was like vacation my friend this is the smell of vacation I mean like it was so incredible that he didn't know I put lotion on nothing and he just he's like that smells so good. He's like, that smell makes me happy. And that makes me happy because it tells me that in the past I have worn a scent that goes along with the vacation. So I'm glad that I saved this. I actually have another one as well. So also we have toothbrushes. Ashley got this new one from her dentist from her last dentist appointment. I always like to take new toothbrushes. One, because then I don't forget them the night before when I have to leave them out for them to use the last time. I like to just have new ones and I just pack them new and then we don't have to worry about it last minute. They're already packed, ready to go. Okay, so next up is sunscreen. It, it, nothing crazy about what I actually got, except for, for Hawaii, you need to have coral reef safe sunscreen. I've said this many, many times in many of our travel videos, you have to have coral reef safe sunscreen. Now Hawaii has a new bill passed that they no longer sell sunscreen in Hawaii that is not coral reef safe. So you can't even get regular sunscreen in Hawaii anymore. So we take everything with us. My main tip with sunscreen is get it on clearance. Get it when it's on sale. Get it in an off time when you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to travel or that travel is so far away. This one is down from $8 to $2.39. Like 70% savings on that one. This one is $10 normally and I got it for $4.79. So under 50% off on that one. Then I have these two face sticks, normally $7.70 and I got them for $2.30. You do the math, but it's more than 50%. Buy this kind of stuff on clearance and then you have it ready for travel because this stuff is expensive. I mean, alone, I mean, let's add it. So $14, $15 right there in those two. So 25 and then $33 worth of sunscreen. And I guarantee you this would be gone. These two would be gone in probably four or five days. Guaranteed this one will be gone in like two or three days. And then if Jason's doing hikes, this one will be gone really quick. It adds up. I usually end up buying two packages of these from Costco and we go through them. Get them on clearance when you can. So that's my little travel tip in terms of sunscreen. Now, Ashley wants to show something fun. Yeah. You wanna open that up and show them this little fun thing that we got? They're like tattoos and they're all matching. 
you can't really see it. So those are your little bracelet ones, right, Ash? And then there's like these mermaid. So those are mermaid scales, right? Yeah. And then I have little Hawaiian flowers right here. It's hard with the light to see those. There you mm, go. Thank you. And then we also have a little pineapple, little guys, and we have little Hawaiian leaves. So I just thought that was kind of fun, and I thought that would be really fun to wear tattoos while we're in Hawaii, and that's just something they can put on on the airplane as a little activity that they can do on the airplane as we kind of get excited about being there, and then, yeah, it'll be fun. Speaking of airplane, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you have kids or if you have problems with your ears, get gum. Kind of go into the food little aspect of what I've got here. Get gum, because it helps them pop their ears when they're doing the descent, especially. So I'll talk specifically about what I pack in terms of food when I do my packing video. And I might, depending on how much I end up taking, I might do a separate video on what food that I end up taking. Hawaii is expensive for food. And so I do try and take some of my basic items with us when we go. And one of the things that I don't want to have to go out and get when I'm there. That being said, what a holiday is during our vacation. It's Valentine's Day. I didn't want the kids to know about it, but we will have some Valentine treat that I will do. And the rest of it will be a little bit of a surprise. And so I got a large bag of candy for Valentine's Day as well as to eat on the plane because let's be real as much as I want them to eat healthy food on the plane and in the hotel snacks are where it's at I figure if we divide these among four kids and a dad I don't need any of these candies this is actually not gonna go very far <laughs> it looks like a big bag but I don't want to spend Hawaii prices on this kind of stuff so I'll go ahead and buy it now put it into their travel bags I will say that I'm kind of weird and I'm taking cups and lids about two and a half years ago, we fell in love with Italian sodas when we started making the pina coladas with pineapple. We're like, wouldn't this taste so good on the beach or by the pool? And you can't take glass items down to the pool or to the beach. Every time we go to Hawaii, we always get a unit that has a kitchen, but they never have enough cups. They never have enough plastic cups. I'm just gonna take these plastic cups. We actually will wash them. I'm not gonna throw them away after every single use, but it will become handy to be able to make a little smoothie or an Italian soda in the hotel room and and have it be way cheaper than having to buy them be able to put them in these plastic cups so that they won't break by the pool or by the ocean and we will take reusable straws with us and just wash those in the dishwasher so that we're not gonna hurt the turtles with our straws so we're gonna get on to our last category which is clothes and I won't go a ton into this because like I said I've already done a little clothing haul before I'll link those videos above. Ashley, do you want to show them your new rash guard that you got for Christmas? Oh, yeah. This one is really cute. Like I said, she's my little whitey girl, so I cover her up. Like in the pool, I don't as much. She doesn't get as burned when she's in the pool. But her normal swimsuit does a pretty good job. But the beach, she tends to sit out and play in the sand yeah. and play at the water's edge. And that sun just beats down and so she does long sleeves and she has shorts that kind of cover her thighs and then she wears a hat she keeps herself covered because she sunburns really easy I got myself a little sun hat and then you can roll it back up and there's a little velcro closure so that I can stick it into my bag so really quick I'm not gonna go into this a ton I got a new sports bra you can see I haven't worn it yet I like to wear sports bras when I wear my swimsuits because you know the ladies if you call them ladies. You know what I'm talking about. So then I have a new pair of swim shorts. Again, if you're my size, you'll understand. We don't like our size to be out. So I just have a pair of shorts from Fabletic. We have a whole Fabletics haul. I can show you that. I also have a swim cover. Then I have this one. It's tie-dyed, kind of ombre effect. And it has the open shoulders with an elastic on it. And then a little bit of a long, fluffy sleeve to kind of cover me up if I'm, you know, going to the store, but I don't want to take off my swimsuit. I can just wear this. I don't want to get sunburned. I'm just going to cover up with that. Then I have a bunch of t-shirts that I have bought over. I have these three when I was ready to go on our trip last year as well as these two that I got for Jason on our trip last year that we didn't end up getting to take because everything got canceled in 2020. <sighs> oh, Ashley has one more. I thought we were done. Ashley got a new wrap herself. Has cute little pom-poms yeah. at the neck and down the side and she can stay covered when she's just wearing her swimsuit hanging out by the pool, right? Mm -hmm. That is it, you guys. That was a big haul, but yeah. just know that this, all of this was bought over a span of probably two and a half years as we prepped for our trip. A year ago, I was buying stuff the year before that. Just know that it took a long time to buy all this stuff. It wasn't a haul that I clicked on Amazon a week ago. 
It's taken us quite a bit to get all this stuff put together. If you're seeing this video, thank you for sticking out till the end. And also it means we're actually going to Hawaii. So stay tuned because I will have lots more videos. We're gonna have packing and what's in our carry-on bag. And then eventually we're going to Hawaii. Are you excited? Yeah. She's very excited. Stay safe. We will see you soon going to Hawaii.